Hello everyone um, and welcome to today's session. I am Nivedita Tarwad working in V3IT as a SAP technical consultant. So today we'll be discussing on SAP mobile development kit. So let's start with the agenda. Um, we'll be going through the introduction uh, setup for the mobile development kit and we'll also be creating a sample MDK application. So the introduction. Uh, the MDK for SAP Mobile Service is a metadata based application development platform and the SAP Mobile Development Kit, it enables to build multi-channel application. It allows you to build your application once in an integrated development environment and it can be run on both Android as well as iOS and as a web application in the browser as well. So uh, today we will be developing a mobile application in Business Application Studio. So Business Application Studio, uh, it is a web-based IDE which is hosted on SAP Business Technological Platform in a Cloud Foundry environment. So firstly, we will be uh, setting up the mobile development kit. So there are a few steps like how do we access the SAP mobile services and we'll be doing a uh, setup of initial configuration for an MDK application and setup of SAP Business Application Studio for multi-channel development. And later, uh, we'll be creating an MDK application where uh, we'll be creating a customer list page uh, and a customer detailed page. And also, uh, we'll be modifying a customer record in an MDK application. So, uh, I'll just go to the SAP BGP cockpit. So, firstly, we'll go to our trial account. And go to our sub account that is trial. So from here we'll be accessing our SAP mobile services. Like in the services in service market. I'll click on service market. And search for the mobile service. What's the mobile service? If I click on this, then see a mobile service. So click on the support. And log into it. So just give the organization in space and click on open. Uh, this is how our, uh, we can access our mobile service. So now uh, let's uh, do some initial configuration for MDK application. Uh, firstly, we need to create an app, new application. So we see here, we, uh, there's a create new application. I'll click on this create new application. And we need to give some ID, like I'll give. Provide a name, SAP MDK. And since we are using a trial account, so I'll uh, will keep the license tab as light and click on next uh, and click on next in the assign featured. Okay. In the assign featured, uh, let's select our mobile development kit application and here our features are already assigned to the mobile development kit application. So we also need to select the mobile sample O data ESPM so that uh, we can have a sample o data service where we can use this for our development and testing and click on finish uh, since i've already created a application so i'll not click on finish i'll just click on cancel so we can see here this is the application which is already present uh, now uh, let's uh, create a destination to our uh, mdk model mobile application i'll click on this And if we go in the mobile connectivity, uh, there will be a default URL, uh, URL created. So we can just copy this URL and click on create. And we can just paste the URL in this. Write some destination or name like sample. Or anything 
since it's already created, I'm just showing you like how to create the destination. Click on next. Click on next. Since we are creating a simple uh, application, so I will not be using anything in this. And click on next. And in the destination configuration, you can select the forward authentication and click on next and uh, directly click on, click on finish. So this will create an application. Now destination. So this is the one which we had already created. So this is how we create our destination. So this is this is some initial configuration which is required for uh, MDK application creation. Now let's uh, go to our business application studio. We will be creating our we'll be developing our mobile application. So we'll go to BTP and you can go to instance and subscription. And from here, you can enter your SAP business application studio. You can double click on this or else just click on the three dots and go to application. So this will open our uh, business application studio. Um, so here are a few setups need to be done. Like uh, we need to create, uh, firstly, we need to create a dev space since I've already created in this, like these are the two dev spaces which are already created. So if it's not created, you can just click on the create dev space and just give the dev space name. And there will be some, but you need to select the kind of application you require. Like there are SAP Fury basis, or you can see SAP mobile application. These are like kind of applications. So we will be, uh, we need SAP mobile application. So select SAP mobile application and click on OK, which will create our dev space. So if once this is created, we need to click on this. Okay, this will take us to the uh, studio, application studio. Studio where you can develop your mobile application. So let's start with this. Like we will create our uh, MTK application. Uh, for that, uh, first we'll uh, start it from the template. Just click on start from template. And uh, we are creating the MTK project. So we'll click on MTK project and click on start. Okay, here you can find MDK template types. Uh, so here you can select any of the type. Now I'll be selecting the base type or since it creates offline or of uh, online action rules, messages, and it also create an empty page. So I'll just select it out as base. And let's give our project name. Give it as. And uh, let's keep the target client version as it is, and you can choose your target folder as well. I'll be using the same target folder, so I'll click on next. Okay, uh, in the service configuration, uh, you need to select your data source. So it's already selected, you can uh, mobile services selected, so keep it as it is, and standard, and the application ID which we have created. You can select it from here. So uh, in the previous step, we had created the application ID. We'll click on that. This is the application ID and the destination we had created. We'll be using that destination that is sample service V2. And we'll be clicking on next. Okay, uh, in the data collection, here are uh, different entities we can select. So uh, we can select the customer, other entities as well. So I'll be checking the customer and products and I'll click on finish. This is simple application got created right now. So to 
run this, uh, we need to go to application.app and right click on this and we need to deploy it. MTK de uh, deploy. In that, we will be using mobile service. So I'll click on the mobile service and for debugging, yes. So you can see it is deploying to mobile service. So it got deployed. So uh, if not, we need to go to the application.app and double click on it. Uh, here you can see the application QR code. Just click on this icon, which will display the QR code. Now uh, to see the application in our mobile device, firstly, we need to download the SAP mobile service client in our mobile. We need to install it and then we, uh, we need to log in it. Then once we log in, we can scan our uh, QR code in that. Mm, I'll be showing you in the mobile device. Okay, there is a mobile SVCS app already installed it. So here you can log in, sign in with your biometric as well. So this uh, screen will be available. You need to click on agree and click on get started. And here you will get an option called scan new QR code. You need to click on scan new. Scan the QR code. Click on continue. If uh, here we need to log in with our ID. Okay, to on display it. We'll and uh, Okay, here we sign in. Okay, first we have created the application. We need to set a password for that. Confirm the password. Okay, you can enable your biometric as well. Now, this is the screen which is visible because we have not added anything the only empty page you can see it in the screen okay now let's uh, create some customer list page in this application okay let's go back to the page and uh, now what we need to do is we'll be creating some customer list page so firstly uh, for that we need to create a page that uh, go to the page and right click on that and click on mdk new page so here uh, we need to select the session page and click on next or give the page name let me my list and click on next and click on finish so here you can see the customer list page got created I'll click on this double click on this to maximize and here in the caption you can just rename it like as a customers which will be visible in the page and next uh, we need to add a table in this like we'll go to the uh, compound and in this we'll select the contact cell table and we'll add here and click on this and uh, uh, we'll be adding the service for this like which service we had created sample service v2 just click on that sample service v2 and entity uh, since we are creating customer list we'll be choosing the entity set as customer and query uh, option you can just click on the three dots and go to object uh, browser and from there you can select the last name uh, for order by option So according to the last name, it gets sorted. And next, uh, you can see the description in this. So for this description, uh, we can add any field for this. 
so we need to click this icon and from here you can select any field so let me select city if you double click on it it gets inserted or you can also use the insert option over here and click on ok so the city got added in this uh, in the headline now or the headline which is here so here you can add other field like i'll be adding a last name double click on ok now sub headline sub headline same thing click on the object browser and select the first name click on ok uh, so this got this fields got added now in the search you can enable the like search enable you can set it as true so you can see the search option then for barcode scanner also you can set it set, set it as true then later we'll go down scroll down and here you can add activity item or items as well so for that we need to click on add and one item got added in this you can see the phone is phone got selected so uh, the icon also is present over here so let's select a, a value for that click on the three dots and object browser and select the phone phone number click on ok so this got added now let's add one more uh, activity I click on add so item one got selected now let's change from phone to email so the email icon got added so we'll add the activity value for that email address and click on ok okay so uh, this got added now uh, now we have created the customer page now let's uh, add a navigation action for this so for that uh, we need to go to actions and click, uh, right click on it and select mdk new action and let's select the category mdk ui action in that we'll select navigation action click on next and uh, we need to give a uh, action name let's give it as navigate to customer list and uh, which page we need to open that is the customer li the list itself so we'll select the customer list then we'll uh, click on next and we'll finish it so now we have created the navigation action now we need to create a button in the main page so that uh, whenever we click on the button it should open the customer list page so we'll go to the main page This is the main page which was empty before so here we'll be adding a session button table uh, like we'll go to the container and we'll select session button table this is just a container now we need to add a container item item in this that is a session button so we'll add the session button and the title is button we'll just rename it to customer list and now uh, since the button is added now once we click on this it should open the customer list page so for that we need to go to the events in the events in the on press click on this icon and let's select navigate to the customer list the navigation which we had created and click on ok okay now we have uh, created a customer list page let's deploy this and see it okay same go to the application dot app right click on it and mtk deploy and select mobile services you can see here deploying to mobile services Uh, it got deployed to the mobile services so i'll be showing you and sign in with the biometric and it is asking for the update 
click on OK. Now we were seeing only the uh, empty page. So the customer list got created. We'll click on customer list. So once we click on the customer list, you can see uh, the customer list page got created with so many customers. So this is how we create the customer list uh, list page. Now what we're doing is our next step will be we'll be creating some customer detail page so that whenever we click on any customer, it displays the details of that customer. So for that, uh, the same thing, first we need to create a customer detail page. So we'll go to page and right click on it and create a MDK new page. Again, this will select session page and click on next. And we'll give the page name as customer detail. And click next. Click on finish. Okay, now this is the customer detail page which got created. Now we will add few objects in this. Okay, um, firstly, we'll just change the name from customer detail to just customer. And uh, let's go to the container and the container will use the object header and drag and drop it over here. Okay, now we'll be adding details of the customer in this like you can see a uh, different objects we can add in this like headline subhead description status and sub status so let's start with the body text or uh, the body text which is over here show the body text so click on this icon that is object browser and let's add period date of birth double click on this and click on ok now you can see the date of birth field got added in this now same description that is over here we can add a description in this just click on this and select any field i'll okay, select customer id and click on ok the customer id got added and you can also add an image in this i'll uh, keep it as it is for now now and in the footnote uh, over here i'll be adding other field like email address okay and in the headline we can add last name first name and okay and status which is visible here so for the status we can add anything any field i'll be adding phone number and subhead which is present here will add first name in this and sub status we can see the fields can add city click ok so these are the few information we added for the customer details uh, almost we have added many or uh, most of the details so we'll just remove the tag one and tag two from here Click on this and just cancel it and click on OK. So the, those tags got removed. Now still, uh, still we can add few more details about the customer. For that, uh, we can use other the container. Let's select static key value. Uh, I'll be using two static key values and this is just a container. Now let's select the container item to add the fields. Key value item, okay, your one and for this one. Okay, now let's add a field for this key name. For this, uh, we can add the other field like there were few fields left like address. Let's add value for that. Click on that uh, icon and select the address for that. Like the, uh, here you can see few more fields. From here we can select house number. 
just click on house number and also you can add street as well for this so for this like click on street and click on insert if you double click on it the it get replay it gets replaced so just give space and select like there's also a postal code we can select postal code and click on insert now all the three fields get added in this and click on ok this is for address the one more we can use is for country as well the country and in the value let's select the country okay. and click on ok okay now we have uh, created the page now let's create a navigation action for this as well so for that we need to go to the action and click on that right click on this and click on mdk new action and let's select the category and action and select the navigation action click on next so let's give a name now we are navigating it to customer detail And the page to open is the same customer detail page list to open. So I'll select that and click on next. Okay, the navigation got created now. Now uh, we need to add this on customer list page. So the customer list, list page is over here. So I'll click on this. Okay, I'll select this contact cell table so that whenever we click on any customer, customer name, it should uh, display the uh, details of that customer. So click on this and select the events in the events in on press. Click on this three dots and go to object browser and select navigate to customer detail action. Click on OK. So this will navigate to the customer detail page. So let's deploy and check it out. So go to the application, right click on it and click on MDK deploy. And select mobile services. So it is deploying to mobile services. So I'll show you the mobile one. Uh, now we'll open the application uh, in the mobile and I'll sign in. Uh, it will ask for the update, so you can click on OK. Now once the application gets updated, uh, you can click on the customer list. Now click on any of the customer, like I'll just click on Field James. Uh, you can see the customer details now. Uh, where you can find the customer details like his name, his last name, the email address, the phone number and country. So this is how we can create the customer detail page. So now we are done with creating the customer detail page. Uh, now we will create customer update page uh, where we can modify the customer records. So let's do that. OK, firstly, we need to create a page for that as well. Now click on the page, right click on it and create new page okay now here we'll be using a form cell page uh, because this type of page it allows for input changes so for that we'll be for editing purpose we'll be using the form cell page and click on next okay let's give the page name And click on next and finish. Still. I guess the page didn't get created. Let me create it once more. OK, 
Okay. This is the customer edit page. Okay, now let's go to the properties. Your let's give the name. Page name can be it as. Now, let's go to customer item and select simple property. This, uh, let's like whichever field we want to uh, make, uh, like we want to edit those for that sake, we'll be uh, using this simple property. Okay, let's add the property. I'll be using three simple properties like for uh, first name, one for email, and one for uh, phone number. You can also uh, you can create as many as uh, you require. So right now I'll be creating only uh, only for three fields. So I'll click on the simple property, and you can see in the caption just will give it a name. So. And in the data, we'll give the uh, value for it. That is first name. First name, I'll click on OK. Now do the same for the other two. Let's select the value from the data. This email address I click on OK. Now in the caption or one more like This is for phone number. So it has phone and let's select the data. This is phone number. Click on OK. Yeah, now we are added, we have created the page for the customer update customer. So so these three uh, fields we can edit. Now let's create a close page cancel action, uh, which actually closes the current page. And that we can use it in the edit customer uh, page. So let's go back. And click on the action, right click on it and create Here, let's select the category as MTK UI action. And yeah, we will be using this closed page action. Click on that and click on next. Okay, let's give the name. And Select it has cancelled and for the cancel pending action, yes, it, it, uh, it has to cancel the pending action. So we need to select it, it as a true and click on next. And click on finish. So the uh, close page cancel action got created. Now let add, uh, let's add this cancel uh, button. Uh, let's add a cancel button on the edit customer uh, page. So let's go to customer edit page and uh, we'll be using this action bar item and place it in the left corner and in this system item click on the link icon and let's select cancel 
and click on OK. And for this now, in the events, we need to uh, select the uh, uh, select the action which we have created from the object browser. Let's select that uh, close page cancel action which we had created and click on OK. So this will uh, actually cancel come out from the uh, update customer page. And so for that, uh, click on the action and right click on it and new action. Let's select the category and click on navigation action and next. So let's give the name as navigate. And the page which we need to open is customer edit page. So we select that. And the model page, we need to select this as true and click on next. And click on finish. Okay, this action got created. Now let's add a edit button uh, to the customer detail page. Now let's go to the customer detail page. And in the customer uh, detail page, let's add the action bar item your right corner. And let's in the system item, let's select the edit because we'll be using this for editing. Let's click on the edit, click on OK, and go to events. And then click on the three dots and go to object browser. So we'll be selecting navigate to customer edit action. So this will open the uh, customer edit page. So click on OK. So the page has been created. Now uh, we need to store like whatever uh, updates we have done. We need to store it uh, locally for an uh, offline application or we can send the updated record directly uh, back to the backend for the online application. So uh, we'll be working on that. Like also we'll be creating an action or uh, to map the changes which is received from the customer edit page to the corresponding field in the whole data service. And we'll also be uh, showing some failure message if the update action fails to save the changes. So for that, firstly, uh, we need to create an action. Uh, okay. uh, go to action and click on MDK new action. So we'll be creating a message act uh, action now. So MDK message action and click on message action. Next. So give some name like. Entity and this should be a message like uh, what should be the message? So, uh, to give the customers. And let's give a title for that. Update custom. And for the OK caption, let's give it as OK and let's leave it as as it is and click on next. From finish. So now we have created the action for failure message, which we'll be using later. Now, we'll, now one, one more thing we need to create is the close page complete action. So it will allow the end user to close the page and allow any execution to continue. So for that, let's create one more action, go to action and click on MDK new action. And let's select MDK UI actions. 
close page action and click on next. So let's see. Yes. And we'll select completed. And here the pending action should be completed. So we need to set it as false. We can't cancel it and click on next. Click on finish. So this action is also completed. Uh, now we need to create a OData update action. Um, this is used to update the entities. Uh, like uh, it will update the entity action, which will map the changes to the current entities uh, in the OData service, and it make uh, save the changes in the OData service as well. So for that, let's go to actions and right click on it and click on MDK new action. And in the category, let's select MDK data actions and go data action and click on next. Now action name, let's give it as a customer. This type will be updated because since we are updating the entity. Now let's select the service. So this is the service service or data service where we'll be updating our changes um, made in the updates. And let's select the entity set that is we are using the customer. So we select customer and in the read link, just click on the icon and select read link. Click on OK. So it is a direct uh, reference to an individual entity set entry. So click on Next. OK, your uh, uh, since in the customer detail page, we actually define few properties like for the first name, phone number and email. These three needs to uh, like we can edit these three fields. So now we will actually we'll be binding them to some uh, to their respective UI controls. So uh, we had not used the city. So just uncheck it and we'll, we had used first name. So for the editing option. So let's uh, select the first uh, name and click on this icon. And let's go to controls and client and select current page and add. yeah this is the C first name uh, click on the value and click on OK okay this got added now and uh, we had uh, uh, selected two more fields that is phone number and email let's select that as well like this is the phone number Click on this icon. Repeat the same process like controls and clients in the current page. Let's select FC phone. Yeah, here it is and click on the value. Click on OK. So the last one was email. Click on it. Click on the icon. Control and client current page and FC. Mail here it is. So click on the value and click on OK. Next. Okay, now this is done now we will be defining the success and failure actions which we had created for the uh, customer update entity action this is this one so in the common action if we scroll down in the common action properties just expand this you can see here the success action and failure action so we'll assign the action for success action let's select the uh, close page complete action which we had created and click on OK. 
type of failure. Let's select update customer entity failure message. Click on OK. Okay, is it not selected? Let me do it once more. Okay, click on OK. So here how it works is like whenever uh, we whenever the customer update entity action it gets executed successfully then it will uh, call the action that is close page uh, complete action it will be triggered and if it fails then this will be triggered that is update customer entity failure message so this action is done now now let's uh, let's go to the customer edit page this over here the page customer edit page Okay, in this like we'll be making changes. So we need to add a save button for this. So let's uh, use this action bar. Place it in the right corner. And in the properties, we need to select the system item that is we are using it to save. So let's select save. Click on OK. And in the events, we need to call the Okay, go to first object browser and call the customer update entity. Now here it is. And click on OK. okay. Uh, since all the processes are done now, now let's deploy and check our application. Like, is everything working now? So from same in the application dot app, right click on it. And click on MDK deploy mobile service. So it's getting deployed. Okay, the deployment is done. So I'll show you the mobile device now. Okay, and now I got the notification. I click on OK, customer list. Okay, let's check our application once more in the customer list page. In customer detail. Okay, on this events. Oh, sorry. Uh, okay, uh, this is not that. Okay, in the events, we actually, uh, when we click on the edit, it should actually navigate to the customer edit page. So that is custom navigate to customer edit. Yeah, here it is. Okay, click on OK. Now in the application dot app, deploy it. service it's getting, it's getting deployed now okay now let's check this in our application customer list and selecting <laughs> Okay, and click on edit. Okay, now you can see that we can edit the first name, email, phone, phone number. So I'll be editing one name, like I'll just click on this one. I'll change the email to sap.com. 
click on save so you can see that it got changed sap.com so this also like we can also check this in our uh, backend btp system as well in the mobile service so for that first you need to go back and you need to click on the sync option which is available at the right corner bottom corner you click on the sync so it will upload the changes which we have made in this uh, destination so now it is uploaded successfully so i'll be showing this you in the mobile service it can be and go to the service market mobile service and support okay, in the mobile application we need to go to native and hybrid here we'll go to our mtk application and click on mobile connectivity and this is our sample service destination which we have created and we'll click on this cycle that is launch in browser so this one let's like uh, we, uh, we were using for customer entity so i'll just copy this and click on enter so you can see that we had changed the uh, like the email address uh, to sap.com which is actually changed in backend as well so this is how we, you can change the record of the customer as well so that's it uh, for today's webinar uh, i hope you all got an idea on how to create a sample mdk application so thank you for joining